Yeah. Right guys, so make sure you can see. What we're going to start off with is we're going to do lithium first of all. So, um, I'll get this big bit of lithium out. What do you notice first of all about the surface of lithium? Is it, does it look, it's quite dull and black, isn't it? Is that lithium oxide? It is indeed, yeah. It's because lithium is react with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut a small bit off, if I can. And it's quite a big bit. And what do you notice about it now, where I just cut a little bit? Really shiny. Can I see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and he's gone over there. Right, so what I'll do is he's gone over there. Um, that's not the biggest bit in the world, so perhaps we try and get a, just put that on in. Yeah, just put the big bit in. Um, although I can cut it, it's not the easiest, the easiest but I can get a, a knife for it. So again, hopefully you can see where I cut it, it is actually quite shiny and so like that. Right, so shall we give it a go, bung him in some water, uh, and here we go. So, what, what can you see? He's floating on the water and I've got definite bubbles appearing. So he's definitely floating on the water. I've got a gas being produced and there we go. Now, what do you reckon is going to be the pH of the water? It's going to be alkali. It's the alkali. Indeed, yeah, and you can see that he's gone purple, which suggests that I've got an alkaline <coughs> pH, and that's it's why they're called quite green. Yeah. Because, uh, you know. So, shall we put another bit in? There we go. Here he goes. Whee. Okay. Can you put, what, big lump, can you put the big lump in? I mean, no. Oh, please. Can you put the big lump in the potassium? <laughs> What's the What's worst that can happen? Um, I could die. Oil. Well, if you, yeah. if you just like plop it in from this side, and then right. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so that was potassium. Let's get this boy out now. This one is sodium. So quite a big lump of sodium, which I'm obviously not going to put in. Um, so again, a little bit of a dull surface. I'm going to try and cut that. That came off quite nicely, so it was much softer to cut. Um, and again, hopefully you can see he's nice and shiny where I cut him. Quite dull. That's probably a bit big to bang in. That's not. Okay. Let's hope for the best. Okay. So what do you notice? He's gone into he's a little melted. ball. Yeah, he's melted. He's whizzing around. So he's he's melted. He's whizzing around the whole uh, the whole sort of Just be careful. He doesn't spit at you. There he goes. He's leaving a little trail behind him, like so. We all the way down. The gas doesn't set a light, but he's definitely he's got hot enough to melt. to melt. Low melting points. Yeah, low melting points. Yeah. So how hot is that? Because does he? Um, I mean, it's probably what, what the how yeah, hot has he got? Yeah. He's probably got to about sixty degrees or so to get to that. It's quite an exothermic reaction. Oh, wow. it's got it. There he goes, smaller and smaller. And he will disappear. Yeah, in a minute. Whee! Gone. Okay, good. Just emphasize. So that was sodium done. And now, oh no, that's lithium. Shall we do potassium? Is this, so, is this, the, is this the one that burns perfect? This is the one that hopefully we will see a lilac flame, which is uh, from the potassium. Uh, potassium compounds burn with a lilac flame. That is a big. Done. So again, I'm going to cut, cut this potassium. You can see how he's quite tarnished. Um, again, that's all potassium oxide. So let's see what happens when I cut the potassium up. Really easy to it's cut. Like butter. Really, it is like butter. Oh, we have no, don't cut it in half again. There we go. So again, that's a nice side, just make sure. You've got some nice, nice bit, nice and... Okay, so let's give it a go. So just be able to keep the play a little bit of fun. Yay! Oh, that's fine. Ooh. Okay, that's so really fast, nice lilac flame. 
The lilac is actually the potassium burning. Yeah, Joe, you can do that again. That's quite cool. Yeah, I can do it again. It's actually quite helpful. Can you just chuck the whole lump in? Let's see. How hot's that then? Okay. There you go. Okay, so really fast, um, nice lilac flame, um, but you can definitely see that was the most reactive out of that. So as we went down the group, what happened to my reactivity of the alkaline water? Reactive. They got more reactive, brilliant, and we'll look at reasons why that happens. They've always turned the solution in terms of al um, alkalinity has gone purple, which is why they're called the alkaline metal. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Thanks. So let's go through each of these. So lithium, what happened to lithium? We exactly saw a gas produced. So a gas was produced and it floated on water. What about for sodium? How did sodium differ from lithium? It melted. It melted. So uh, sodium melted into a ball, ball. yep yeah. um it moved uh quickly over the surface of the water and we also know that a gas was produced as well And then the final one was potassium. Again, very fast, so uh, potassium melted. Um, and I saw a lilac flame was produced. Um, a gas was produced. And it was a very rapid reaction. I put quite a lot in and it went pretty fast, didn't it? It didn't stick around. Um, and for all of them, they all floated on the water. So they all floated on the water. So for this one, uh, melt interval, move quickly over so I said that. Potassium melted, very rapid reaction, and again floated on water. Which shows that they are less dense than the water each time. So as we go down the group, reactivity increase. The gas that produced was always hydrogen. Uh, we'll come and look at that in the equation. Um, and they always produced in terms of uh, the water. The water was always pH around about 14 or so. So um, pH of resulting solution equals 14 and that's all of them.